Prodigy's Treasure Track. You might remember this as a beta update that was released in late December 2023 to very few users, just some users, and this was a sort of an, a system that gave you like questions to answer as we can see right here. We have questions to answer and that gives us specific rewards to unlock throughout certain levels. So I'm on an alternate account right now that has this. My main account does not. This is just an alternate account and this is what the treasure track looks like. And just as, well, just as a notice, by the time I'm uploading this, it will not be five days until season alpha is over. It will be like maybe three or two days. So if you have it, you can check then. So it might be over very soon. Well, it will be over very soon, no matter what. And so these are the rewards you were able to get in season alpha. Beta testers only got this. And here are some of my predictions for the future of the treasure track. Let's go ahead and get into this video. So yes, let's start off with a major question. Is this going to be released to everybody soon? Yes, I believe it is going to be released to everybody quite soon, hopefully after season alpha ends. So in just a few days, this might get released to everybody. Do not take that as confirmed because it is most certainly not. We do not know what is going to happen. We don't know if anything is even going to happen after Season Alpha ends. It might just disappear, who knows. But I predict that we will be getting Season Beta, since Beta comes after Alpha. And we will be getting Season Beta in just a few days. Or if Prodigy decides to give it a little bit of time. Because Season Alpha lasted about 45 days. So they might want to give it a little bit of time before they release Season Beta. But the thing is, that may be when Prodigy releases it out of beta testing, or it may not. We may not um, get this in Prodigy. Everyone may not get this, unfortunately. We will have to wait and see, of course. In just a few days, we'll know more information, I guess. Depending on whether Season Beta starts or not. And what's going to happen and whether it'll be released to everybody, all that stuff. So we'll find out quite soon. So unfortunately, it seems as though nobody else will be able to participate in Season Alpha. It seems as though we're just going to miss out on it if they release it starting at Season Beta into full Prodigy, unless they choose to redo Season Alpha for everybody as this was just a beta test of it. We don't know, we'll have to wait and see, of course, but I think it would be nice if they redid Season Alpha for everybody, since so few people were able to access this. I think they should redo Season Alpha, or just move on to Season Beta, maybe with the same rewards, but probably not, probably with different rewards, and that's what I want to get into next. The rewards are hopefully going to be more exclusive rewards. Um, so there were a variety of exclusive and non-exclusive rewards in Season Alpha. We had Stormy Tribeak, which is able to be rescued in, the, in a couple of elemental areas. We had the Snow Puppy, which was exclusive. It was from a previous member box, but now it became obtainable through Treasure Track Season Alpha. We had Rainbow Works, which have been unobtainable since the arena was uh, removed. So that's a good thing. We got some Rainbow Works in there. We got Morph Marble Fathoms outside of Summerfest and Morph Marble Giant Snowballs outside of Winterfest, so those are kind of exclusive, I would say. All the currency, gold, those are not exclusive. Uh, neither is the Morph Marble Aquaster. But we also did get the Winter Window, which was not exclusive actually either, because it is actually obtainable through the Shivertail Mountains mini boss rewards crate. 
So that is two ways the winter window was made obtainable. I'm a little surprised they did that, but that's just how it is. And we also got Drenchor, previously Blue Fury Mag Mayhem. Drenchor was re-released in the treasure track. We got ourselves a new way to get a mythical epic. Of course, it is for members only, but it is great that they re-released a mythical epic and that they, well, that they chose that this is a good place to do it in, and I believe it is a good place to do it in, just as long as, of course, it all works out. And so, for season beta, as long as that is what is happening next, I believe that they should be more exclusive. We should get uh, previously unobtainable items, of course, and hopefully ones that I don't have. That's the best for me, and hopefully ones that other people want as well. Um, like Stormy Tribeek, I don't need that. I already have it. I would like the Snow Puppy, and really that's it. I already have everything else, but it's good that Prodigy has been um choosing to release things like this as just another way of re-releasing old items and i love it again out of season alpha the snow puppy was the only thing that i needed really i have everything else but i would like to get that snow puppy and unfortunately as far as i can tell that is not going to be an option for me but unless they repeat season alpha we'll see who knows Everything will hopefully be found out uh, by the end of January or maybe February. Who knows? We'll see. I keep saying that a lot. I know, but that's pretty much it. I believe uh, Season Beta should be lasting, I guess, around 45 days, just like Season Alpha, unless they have made changes to it since it was in beta testing. And that is pretty much all that I have to say about it right now, of course. When something new actually does come out, I'll make a video on it, so keep watch for that. And what do you think about the treasure track? Do you have it? Do you hope that it is released in a few days? And what do you want to see from the treasure track in the future of Prodigy? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments.